Hi guys, my name is Kay. Welcome back to my channel. So now that things are back open post-COVID, I hit the ground running as far as traveling. Traveling has always been one of my goals and so whenever I do travel, I like to share that content and share that information and those resources with you. And so actually last week I asked what kind of travel content you wanted to see. Was it general tips about traveling? Did you want to see my itineraries? Did you want to see more travel photos? What was it that my audience, what was it that you guys wanted to see? And so the top answer that actually surprised me was general tips on traveling. So I figured I would start with this video talking about what's in my personal item that I carry on to the plane. So first of all, when I travel, I only travel with one carry-on bag and then my personal item. I have never checked a bag in my life because I just feel like it's a hassle and it's something that I've never wanted to do. I understand that certain locations, going certain destinations, you really don't have a choice because you might be going for a long time or you might be going somewhere cold and you have to wear bigger clothing, so you have to pack heavier things. But as far as the destinations that I've been so far, domestically, and then I've been to Cuba, I've been to Mexico, um, I've been to Cartagena, Colombia. I've only taken carry-on luggage and then a personal item. So for my personal item, I bought this tote bag and I did not originally buy it for this purpose, but it just so happened that it was perfect for this. I bought this. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. I bought this Marc Jacobs tote bag and this is like one of my favorite purchases of the last year or so. I love this tote bag. So this is what I travel with and as you can see it's a little bit heavy but I don't have to carry it on my shoulder which is good. I just put it on top of my roll away, my carry on and just roll it through the airport. And it also is perfect because once I get to my destination I can take a lot of the things out and just use it as like my purse and it fits everything that I need to carry with me, whether I'm going on a tour or an excursion, I can make it as heavy or as light as I want to. So this bag is perfect. So what I'm going to do is go through this bag and show you just how much I can get into this bag for my personal item. And I try to put everything that I think I could need on the planes. I try, I try not to have to get up and get my luggage out of the bin. So I put everything that I could need in this bag. So I'm going to sit it here. And I'm just going to put everything on the desk as I take it out. Also, before I get into that, I want to say that I created a blog post with my top 20 essential travel items. And that's for domestic and international. So I do have a lot of the items that are in here in my personal bag. I have listed on that blog post. So I will link that down below as well. You can kind of get an idea for what I feel like I need to have when I travel from this video as well. So first of all, I always travel with a book. Right now I'm reading this, The Perfect Find. And they're actually making a Netflix movie about this with Gabrielle Union. But I read the other book by the same author, um, Seven Days in June. And that was really good as well. So anyway, I always travel with a book. So I have that in my bag. As far as the biggest thing that I have here, my laptop. My laptop does fit in here. I can also slide it into the front of my luggage, but I just prefer to have this in my personal item in case I end up having to check my luggage at the gate to my destination. Um, so a book, laptop. I also have this new travel wallet that is mainly for international destinations. I don't necessarily need it domestically, but it's a travel wallet that if I open it up, has space for travel documents on this side being that a lot of destinations now you have to um you have to show proof of a negative covid test um this travel wallet is perfect for carrying something like that and any pre-registration forms that you have to do for international destinations you can also put here and then there's this slot over here for passport so i put that here and then all of these slots are for um, credit debit cards or your license or whatever else you may need to put here so I always have my travel wallet if I'm just going somewhere domestically then I will just have my regular wallet which my regular which my regular wallet is pretty big too um, but so I will either have both of these or just one or the other in here as well 
Also very important to me is that my phone never dies because I'm always by myself. I take a lot of my trips solo and I cannot afford to be somewhere and not be able to get in contact with someone because my phone is dead. So I started off with one um, portable charger, but now I always travel with two. So I have two portable chargers in this personal item. And inside these small bags is a charging block. I have the charging cable for the battery pack, but also the charging cable for the phone. Um, so I have both of these in my personal item. This is going to sound really funny and a little bit ridiculous. I hope the world can see now what's really going on out here because it's getting ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. But I always travel with a first aid kit. And my, my family laughs at me because back when I was like in elementary school, I made like a hurricane survival kit and I just always have probably more than what I really need to have. But actually on this last trip, this first aid kit actually came in handy because um, we did ATV rides and like zip lining through the jungle. I burned my hand here holding on to the back of the ATV and I actually ended up needing a first aid kit. Not only that, my brother got stung by a bee twice and um, this first aid kit came in handy. So I think I got it at like Target um, and they have a lot of different like mini um, first aid kits now um, with a lot of different brands. This one is Johnson & Johnson, which Johnson & Johnson, I almost hate that I even am supporting them with this because Johnson & Johnson is a little bit shady. But anyway, inside the first aid kit, I just, I throw like a hodgepodge of things in here because I replenish it with the first aid that I have in my actual house. Um, but I have like um, Shout to Go wipes, which is not really first aid, but sanitizing wipes, um, gauze, and band-aids are the main things that are in here. And like I said, the band-aids and like sterilizing wipes, those things actually came in handy on my last trip. So I'm glad I do carry this first aid kit in my bag. I also always have sunglasses. Sunglasses aren't really like a necessity. If you're going to be on the plane and someone has the window up or you just want to sleep and have some shade over your eyes or if you just wear sunglasses when you go on vacation or wherever you travel, sunglasses are something that I always put in here as well. It's weird because I put them every time and then I feel like I never end up wearing them because I can't see. I'm like blind as a bat. So you can't see at all? Huh? You can see though, right? I'm legally blind. I can see barely. And so if I'm going somewhere that I haven't been before or going somewhere where I just need to read, I need to be able to read signs or whatever the case may be, I cannot do that with sunglasses on. But nevertheless, I put them in the bag anyway. Once I always buy water once I get to the airport. Obviously, you can't take water or food through TSA. Um, but I always just buy water and so there's space enough for me to put that in the bag as well. So a bottle of water and then whether or not I put my actual toiletry bag in my personal item depends because I actually just signed up for TSA pre-check where I shouldn't have to take anything out of my luggage. But depending on how much I pack in my actual suitcase, um, sometimes I can't get this toiletry bag in the suitcase where I would be able to easily access it and pull it out to um, send it through TSA. So sometimes I will put it in my personal item because it's just easier to get out. When I go through TSA and I have to take things out, it'll be my laptop, my toiletry bag, and usually my camera. So if those three things are right in my personal item, then it's just easier to take them out. So sometimes I will if I don't have space in my luggage or if I do have extra space in this bag, I'll just put my toiletry bag in here. This toiletry bag is right at courtside. It is a Sonia Cashett makeup bag, but I just use it as my toiletry bag because it's basically the perfect size. So in addition to my sunglasses, I will put my regular like seeing glasses in here as well. And um, obviously that's something I need because like I said, I can't see. So if I'm somewhere that I don't know where I am or if the signs are in a different language or whatever the case may be, I need to have these. So I drop these in here as well. I just feel like this bag is like never ending. Like I'm just taking stuff out. <laughs> but anyway, um, I have this and this is like a toiletry bag 
for <laughs> my personal item. So this toiletry bag here is like my actual toiletries for when I get to where I'm going. But then this one is for anything that I might need on the plane or like in the airport that I need to access quickly. So again, a hodgepodge of stuff in here. I keep deodorant in here. I actually have a video on my YouTube about transitioning to natural deodorant, but if you know anything about it, when it's hot or if you've just transitioned, then you have to reapply deodorant um, occasionally. So I keep deodorant in here. Um, medicine, this is an Advil container, but I actually have Tylenol, Advil, and Motrin in here because you just never know when you're going to need which one. So I keep that here. Um, tie to go pen, lotion, Tums, which I have never used in my life. I honestly don't know why I have them in here. But anyway, they're in here. There's a pretty big side pocket here. And um, as you know, through TSA, you can only have a quart size bag of toiletries. I need to carry like pads and like feminine wipes with me all the time. And they don't fit in the toiletry bag. So I will put them in this side pocket here. So there's a big side pocket here. And then there's two... I don't know if you can see that there are these two smaller pockets here so I actually keep masks in one of those pockets were a mass were a mass were your mass and again overdoing it as as usual I usually try to take at least three or four masks with me um, because you know you just never know when you might lose one or um, if you will even need them, um, cause you know, some destinations you get there, restaurants or whatever the case may be, they don't require that you wear a mask, but you do absolutely need them on the airplane and in the airport. So it's good to have extra masks. So I keep those in the side pocket where they're accessible. Then for the last thing, I keep my, um, neck pillow in here and once I get through TSA, I will usually take my neck pillow out where it looks like this and just like attach it to the side of the strap like this and just let it hang or I'll attach it to my suitcase, to my luggage. But when it's in the personal item, it actually folds kind of like this and you can squeeze it down and it came in this little bag like this. Again, some of the things that I travel with, it depends on how much space I have. I try to pack the same way every time, but again, if you're going somewhere for a long period of time, or if you have a shorter trip, you can kind of take and add stuff as you need to. But if I have the extra space, I will put a travel blanket in here as well. To me, it's just so amazing, crazy that I can even fit all of this into this bag. And so, to show you, I'm going to repack the bag on camera so you can see that I actually did take all of these items out of this bag. I'm going to start with, I usually try to start with the flat items. I'm going to clean the table off. So, I'm going to start with my laptop. Put that in here. Put the book here then I have the toiletry bag I'm gonna put that here on the side I have my travel wallet and I have my regular wallet I'm gonna put those here my first aid kit I'm gonna slide here on the side I have my sunglasses and my regular glasses I'm gonna slide those in here I have my toiletry bag that is so out of shape because I just shoved stuff in here you got to get it how you live um, <laughs> I have two portable chargers that I'm going to slide here on the top. Then I'm going to show you how I get this neck pillow. Also, this neck pillow, I got it on Amazon, came with these earbuds that I probably will never use, but it also came with this eye mask that if you like it to be completely dark when you go to sleep on the plane, this could come in handy as well, but that's in here, but I'm going to show you how I get this neck pillow into that bag and then into my personal item it's a technique step one hold it like this hold it like this so i got it in there and then you can squeeze the strap down and put it right here on the top and then i'm going to show you that the bag can actually zip 
That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. So there you have it. My personal item and everything that I put in here. Oh, I also, this was something that I could not get in here because I'm obviously filming with it. But I also will drop my camera in here. This is my personal item and everything that I just showed you that I put in here for every single trip. I always travel with those items. So hopefully this is helpful to you in terms of maybe what size bag you might need and some of the things that I consider essential that you would need when you travel. Um, like I said, whether that's domestically or internationally, you're probably going to need at least some of these items. I will put a link to the blog post of my top 20 essential items down below, but I also will try to link some of the things that I've gotten on Amazon. I will try to link those down below as well so you can just shop right from the link. Going forward, I would love to be able to post more travel content. I post my travel vlogs, but I also realize that there's some information that I'm not able to get into those vlogs, and so I would like to do some videos like this that are more chit-chat style, but also just informative and kind of resourceful that let you know how I travel and just some general tips because, like I said, um, that seemed to be what people were most interested in when I asked on my story on Instagram. So if you have an idea for a video or if there's some information that you want to know or information that you want to ask me about, please drop me a comment and ask, or, and I will make sure that I try to get a video done or at least a blog post that is helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that it was helpful and informative. I will see you in my next video. Bye.